सुप्रभात बच्चों वेलकम टू हिंदी क्लास इन टूडेज हिंदी क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समोर लेटर्स एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग द हिंदी कॉन्सोनेट्स सो लेट इज सी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे वी ऑल नो दैट हिंदी कॉन्सोनेट्स आर फ्रॉम क टू ह राइट and we call them vyanjan now we are almost at the end of our consonants children so like for example we have completed uh, the first line second line third fourth fifth sixth and the seventh line is going on where in the last class we have completed letter sh and sh today we are going to do two more new letters and they are s and h we will do these two letters in detail so the whole line this line has four letters sh sh s s h right so we are doing these two letters today let us see them in detail so first of all we will do letter s i am going to write this letter first how to write the letter let's see to write letter s i you need to write the letter r we have already done r for r letter r you have done like two and then a slanting line okay after this you leave some space and draw another standing line and then in between these two you have to add a joining line then at the end you should cover the letter this is your letter sir let me write once again see carefully write letter r leave some space standing line join them and then cover it the letter is s so. so you know now how to write the letter let us see the next letter next pictures related to the letter s so, so for letter s so, we have the first picture as satrang it is s t r a n g rang means children colors and sat means seven so here we have seven colors the common name which you know it as rainbow we also know this satrang as indradhanush okay so here you are learning satrang as seven colors and we also call them indradhanush in english we call it rainbow right let us see the next picture the next picture is the vegetables most of the children hate these vegetables you don't like to eat them but you know these vegetables are very good for your health you need to have these fruits uh, not only fruits even these best, uh, vegetables right so uh, in vegetables we have so many things like potatoes garlic uh, tomatoes carrot all these things comes under vegetables and the hindi word for vegetable is sabji sabji okay to so, sabji means vegetables now the next picture is so say circus what is circus circus we also know the english word circus in circus we actually see a uh, a uh, uh, clown uh, who shows many things like you can see there is a lion and uh, there is a mon monkey and a person is also Uh, riding bicycle all these things are shown in circus 
Okay, so the Hindi word is also circus and it starts with the letter sir. Now in this word, you can see the word is st starting or beginning with sir and even it is ending with sir. But do, don't worry about the ending one. First, you need to know the beginning letter. Okay, so let me revise all these pictures. So say satrang. Satrang means rainbow or seven colors. So say sabji. Sabji means vegetables. So say circus. Circus means circus. Okay, so let us move to the next letter. The next letter is H. This is your letter H. Let us see how to write this letter H. To write this letter H, you need to start with a standing line, a very small standing line. Standing line, very small. Then you write S. This is your S. Then from the middle of this S, you have to draw another line like C, almost like C, and then cover the letter. This is your letter H. I'm going to write once again. See here, standing line, S. Then lift your hand and then draw a C from the middle of that S. At the end, don't forget to cover the letter. So this is your letter H. Let us see now what are the words related to this letter H. Okay, so we have the first picture from H as Hull. Now Hull is actually a tool. It's a tool children. This is used by farmers in the fields. They use this to dig the field so that they can sow uh, uh, seeds or uh, anything like that. Okay, so hull means plow in English. Hull means plow. This is used by farmer in the fields. The next picture is her say hatheli. Her. Well, how we are pronouncing it? Her. Hatheli. So hatheli means hand. This is our palm and we call it hatheli. The whole hand is called hearth. So even hearth start with the letter H. So you can uh, learn these two words. H say hearth. This is your hearth. And H say hatheli. Only the palm is called hatheli. Okay. Now let us move to the next picture. The next picture is Hawaii Jahaz. What is Hawaii Jahaz? Aeroplane. Yes. So Hawaii Jahaz means aeroplane. And uh, you know why it is Hawaii Jahaz? Jahaz means actually ship. But this ship flies in the air. And Hawa is called air in Hindi. So it flies in the air. We call it Hawaii Jahaz. Most of the time, uh, maybe some children think that Jahaz means ship. So how can we call an aeroplane? As Hawaii Jahaz, because the ship moves in the air, we call it Hawaii Jahaz. Okay, so uh, which means aeroplane. Then let me revise all these pictures. We are doing letter H, H, like H. Uh, you were pronounce some of the words from H or Ha, Ha, all those. So H, just say H, H, say Hal, Hal means plow. Ha se hatheli. Hatheli means palm. Ha se hawaii jahaz means aeroplane. Is it clear? Now let us move to the poem part. So today we are going to do the first poem based on the rainbow. Let us see what the poem is saying. So I'm going to read. I want you all to listen carefully. स से होता है सतरंग इंद्रधनुष का जैसे रंग सतरंग की छटा निराली झूम उठती 
dali dali so what does it mean sa se hota hai satrang we have done this picture satrang and what is the beginning letter so so we can say sa se hota hai satrang right indra dhanush ka jaise rang so indra dhanush means rainbow has all these seven colors right so they are similar this satrang is similar to indra dhanush or rainbow satrang ki chhata nirali and the view of this rainbow is really very very nice and uh, if you have seen a uh, rainbow then uh, if you see them it look very nice we just want to see them for a long time but actually uh, the rainbow doesn't appear for a long time okay so check uh, actually rainbow appears when there is rain as well as sunlight so uh, if you have not seen please uh, ask your parents to show you when it is raining and if and there is also sunlight okay children try to find out indra dhanush or satrang or rainbow in the sky jhoom uthti dali dali so whenever we see this indra dhanush we only don't feel nice we only don't love the this rainbow but even the branches of the trees start dancing by seeing this rainbow that's why it is written jhoom uthti jhoom uthti means start dancing dali dali each and every branch starts dancing after seeing this colorful and beautiful rainbow or satrang okay children so this is your satrang and we have discussed the poem based on this satrang or rainbow let us move to the next poem the next poem is based on our farmer's tool that is plow and the hindi word is hal so listen to the poem carefully h se hota hai hal rehta kisan ke sath har pal kisan isse khet jote lehrate sab khet hote what does it mean ह से होता है हल लाइक ह्यो आई हैव रिटन ह इन ग्रीन कलर यू कैन सी दिस इज ह एंड ह से वी हैव दिस पिक्चर प्लाउ वी कॉल इट हल ओके ह से होता है हल एंड दिस इज अ टूल ऑफ व्हिच पर्सन किसान किसान मींस फार्मर हु वर्क्स इन द फील्ड ओके सो रहता किसान के साथ हर पल सो किसान अ फार्मर वेयर एवर the farmer goes he carries this plow or hull along with him that's why it is written san ke sath rehta har pal har pal means with uh, each and every time he keeps this most uh, actually children um, the farmer's job is very difficult they grow uh, they grow actually food grains for us and they have to work the whole day in the field so most of uh, their time goes in the field so we can say that plow is always with kisan okay kisan is se khet jote and what is the use we actually the farmers use this plow to plow the field for plowing it is used in the field okay plowing is actually a step of agriculture where um the field is uh, uh field is actually loosened it is uh, not uh, if it is stiff and hard we cannot sow any seed right so we need to make them loose so that is the work of this hull now next is lehrate jab khet hote so whenever um, we these farmers sow green plants like uh, wheat maize and all this how the field looks they actually look very nice lehrate lehrate means when we ply something for example uh, we had our republic day so in on the republic day and even on independence day we need to hoist our flag so when we hoist our flag what happened 
to the flag it keep on moving here and there with the help of the air so that is called lehrana so here even uh, when uh, there is a lot of wind in the field and uh, there are some green plants so uh, those green plants also moves like this like how the flag moves with the help of air that is called lehrana to so, lehrate jab khet hote so whenever there are some green uh, plants or uh, food grains so on in the field this happens okay so this is all about your uh, letter h we have discussed so children if you like my video please like it subscribe it and share with your friends i will be very very thankful to you thank you